So far, season four has not been kind to reigning champion Lucas Degrassi. But when he hits Degrassi, <laughs> they keep rubbing each other. I have no power, no power left. Lucas, try reset. BMS error. No points from the opening three rounds has jeopardized his title defense. A downturn in fortunes has puzzled those both in and outside of the garage. My regen is impaired. You need to stop completely. So far this year, especially on my car, I haven't, I haven't been this lucky enough. If you look at the overall reliability of Audi, it's still good, but we, we suffered with some. Uh, and by doing so, we are not able to finish any of the first three races, which caused us to score zero points. Degrassi's failure to score is in stark contrast to previous seasons, where his points average after three rounds has been consistently high. When you look at uh, the results, it's only part of a picture. You know, what happened before, some of it we could control, some of it we couldn't. And the bits that we control, then uh, we try to improve. The bits that we can't control, you've got to realise that you've just got to get back in there and get back in fighting hard. We're very clear that we've got a good car and uh, we're going to fight back between now and the end of the season. I think they, they are the quickest. Once they will get on top of the reliability issues they have, they, they'll be fighting for the wins at each race, this we've seen. For us, they are clearly uh, the favourite. Agreement then about Degrassi and Audi's potential, but the team won't disclose the cause of the reliability problems. This has left the pit lane and media guessing. The best that you can draw from it is that one side of the garage is working absolutely fine. Daniel Atz had fine reliability, so the problems must be localised to the components on Lucas Degrassi's car. Whether that's a faulty batch of components or the car not being put together properly or maintained is one assumption, but at the moment, because of the way they're being closed up, we don't actually know for certain. What's underpinned Lucas's title challenges over the last three seasons was always being really consistent. The problem now is he has to be maximum attack. Last season, the Grassi averaged 15 points per round, something he'll have to push up to over 20 points over the remaining nine rounds if he's to make up his deficit. But the harder he pushes, the higher the risk. If you look at pure numbers, it's very difficult to be able to win the championship, but it's five and a half points every race. And so from that perspective, it's not out of the realms of possibility. And so therefore, focus race on a time. And that's exactly what we're doing here in Santiago. While there is mathematical chances of winning the title, we're going to chase it. Uh, nothing is Im impossible uh, and we're going to fight for it. Don't count out Audi and Lucas Degrassi. For weekly Formula E videos, click subscribe on the left hand side. To watch the next one, click the icon in the centre and remember to hit the like button and leave your comments down below.